Hello my little mermaid friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mermaid Star Gamer, but you can call me Amanda. Today we are continuing Homeless to Famous with Fox. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, I suggest you do so. I have the link for the Homeless to Famous playlist in the top right corner, or you can find it in the description box below. If you want to jump ahead to a certain area of the video, just click on the timestamps below. Please like and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos I put out. I put up a new video for Homeless to Famous every Saturday. Last episode, Fox made it to proper celebrity. So we're going to continue doing his fame, getting his fame up there, working on his household funds, his house, getting him married, getting him a baby. <laughs> We have a lot of stuff to do today. Ooh, Winterfest is tomorrow. I wanted to do a relationship with Zoe Patel. So, we'll work on that. Get them married. Have a little babaloo. But you really need to work on your, your fame points there, buddy. So, ask three times for a selfie. Alright, let's do that real quick. Vanessa, medium meltdown. This is unacceptable. Sometimes you just need to step out of the spotlight for, for a moment. Okay, come on guys. I need someone to ask for a selfie. Oh look, it's Annie. Good night. <laughs> Those are cute shorts. Come on, somebody ask for a selfie. I need one more. Besties. Give apartment key. <sighs> no. Vanessa, hype me up, please. <laughs> Thanks. Does anybody want a selfie with me? Come on, please. I need a selfie. Make Cam swoon. Visit a public location. Visit public locations where fans can approach your sim. Have your sim be available for fans to autonomously ask for a selfie. Cool. Milestone complete. And I thought you already reached the max violence skin. skill. Skin. Okay. Hey, you want a selfie? Take a selfie with me. Okay. Receive 25 positive responses from inciting cheers. All right. Well, we got to be that. We got to be that person. Well, that's two. Come on. I need more. She's like, <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, and we have to do this too. <laughs> World famous celebrity. Ooh, it's a blizzard. Go home. Run, Fox, run. Now, six o'clock. Why don't you invite Zoe over? Zoe Patel will be right over. Cool. Ooh, she mad. Come on in, Zoe. Why are you so angry? Where are you going? Can you can you calm down, please? Try to calm down. Okay, well, go home. Get out of here. Let's go ahead and, there's no violin available. Where's your violin? It's right here. Resume a haunting melody. Yes, Vanessa. I want you to finish this song. Okay, go to the bathroom.
and I want to get you a kitchen, so let me go ahead and do that. All right, there's your kitchen so far. Come over here and make some food then. Um, let's go with the tortilla wrapped veggie dog. And don't burn down the kitchen. Don't burn down the kitchen. Don't do it. Really? <laughs> Good job, Fox. He's like, this is so much better than yogurt and granola and yogurt and granola and yogurt and granola I need. Oh, you already have a sink. Winter fest. Considering I just spent all your money for a tree on the kitchen. Um, we might have to go play for some money. I'm sad. Oh, I have this new mod. I forgot about that. Um, it's a dream and nightmare mod. So, vanishing dream or vanished dream. Fox had an incredible experience, but upon waking up, he could couldn't recall any details on the dream of the dream. It was as if the dream never occurred, leaving him feeling leaving him with the feeling of confusion and disappointment. Oh my gosh. So relatable. <laughs> Let's go ahead and travel. Are you feeling better, Zoe? Let's go. Hi Zoe. I'm sad. Share some ideas. Okay. That's better. Let the good times roll. So, uh, Zoe, are you single? We should probably go somewhere where it's less crowded. Oh my goodness. Zoe is single. Okay, I need to make some money. You can come over later, though. Oh no, you're sick. How is your... Oh, you have a long way to go there, Foxy Poo. I need money for a Christmas tree so my family can come over and we can celebrate Christmas. I have a lot of people in my family. I am one of seven children and my mom. So that's eight. So how about you spare some money? Spare some cash for me. Fox, I heard that you donated to charity recently. If only more people were as generous as you. Thanks. Apollo, Apollo, I'm busy. Oh. It's getting late. Hurry up. Okay. We're going to have to go home. Hopefully we have enough for a Christmas tree. We are going to have to get rid of, move this table though. Not allowed in apartments. Well, that's just booty. That's booty. Let's come over here and go to the bathroom. And then we'll go ahead and invite everyone over. Red, Hyacinth, Bay, Forest, Azrak, Apollo, Indigo, and Zoe. Everyone is coming over. Cool. Now, as much as I would really like you not to burn down the house, let's go ahead and make some grand breakfast. Hey, Forest. Come on in. Preferably without. Oh, what are you. You're just sneaking presents. Come on in, Hyacinth. Ooh, level two cooking, cool. Where are you going, Zoe? Bay is flirty. Hyacinth, come inside. Invite to join cooking. Where's Apollo? What is this? 
Why are you guys making white cakes? Why is that a thing? All right, call to grand meal. You guys have to stand up and eat because my table isn't finished yet. Plus I moved it into the living room. Still don't see Apollo. All right, well, I guess he didn't want to show up. You guys just crammed in this little tiny kitchen to eat food. Love it. Okay. Okay. Put that away. Okay. Now. Victor Fang. Hey, Fox. I have... Sure. Uh, aren't you married? I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. He did not show up. All right. Whatever. Your loss. He's like, you didn't pick up the phone when I called. So... I'm mad at you. So, Indigo, how's the farm going? Do I need to open this up? What is your issue? Got rid of the wall. So, go open up presents. Open up presents with everyone. Oh, well, that works. You guys were all stuck in the kitchen. How much room do you need? Who would give one large pet poop as a gift? Really? Thank you, Father Winter. I don't understand that. Okay, so we don't get to open up anymore. Don't, what are you doing? Oh, someone got a camera. Why are you making... Why? 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 Ooh. She said no. What's going on here? Enjoy company, I guess. Okay, so that was fun. Well, at least you have a good winter fest. All right, Fox. It looks like everybody's leaving. Why don't you practice? Okay, well, that was a fun winter fest. Let's get rid of this. I really don't want to have all these freaking cakes around here, so get rid of this stuff. Oh, you're going to go throw it away? Why don't you just go... Oh, whatever. And you're getting water. Are we good now? Cleaned up the kitchen? What are you doing with your violin? Why are you putting it on your butt? What is going on? Ay ay ay. Now we have to start all the way over. You were almost finished. You're just going to have to stick it out because you need to finish this. You were almost complete. And then I had to stop to let you go to the bathroom and eat something. And now you have to start from the very beginning. So finish it. Finish him. Yay. Fox run. Don't know. Don't care. All right. Sing in the shower. Fox just completed a song on the virtuoso violin. At skill nine, he can send the song off to off for licensing at the mailbox and earn an extra little cash. License or Fox Run. Get your mail. Maybe you have some energy potions in there. Why are you going outside naked? Ooh, the most recent song that Fox wrote has reached beyond the stars and has been nominated for an award. Check out the next award ceremony Sunday at 7 p.m. to see if he won. Fox just licensed a song to NPR's morning news show. Look for royalty payments to start soon. Okay, what did you get? Um, inspired. So you have inspired, focused fun and bills all right well 
repair. Apollo is wondering, no, you didn't come to my house, so I'm not going over to your house, Apollo. Now, come over here and get some leftovers, and then you're going to go ahead and call over Zoe. Zoe will be right over. Oh, well, where'd all the snow go? It's melting. Cool. Um, how about you get some clothes on? Friends hang out. Hi, Zoe. You're flirty. Well. Um. Flirt with her back. Uh, exchange numbers. So I have your number, but I don't, you don't have mine, so here you go. Aww. Mwah. Become best friends. Blow a kiss. Um. Flirt. Um, excuse you. I need to take away that key. Attempt a mistletoe kiss. Hopefully. Hopefully it works. Okay, no, we're not doing that. Ooh, cute. Um, first kiss. Ah. Now, hold on a second. I need to um revoke the apartment key. You're gonna go revoke it. I I need you to take away the key. Thank you. That's the big girlfriend. Give me my key back. You can't just come in here and drink all the water you want and make cakes whenever you want. It's just not going to work. <laughs> Zoe and Fox became boyfriend and girlfriend. Serenade. And propose. Will you marry me, Zoe, and make me the happiest? Oh. Wow. Whoa, hold on. This is so sudden. We just shared our first kiss, and now you want to get married? What's the rush? Let's enjoy the moment. We can think about marriage again later. Okay. Well, go home. Okay, why don't you come over here and go to sleep? Get rid of this rejected and awkward encounter. How can water be spoiled? Water doesn't spoil. Go to sleep. What was your nightmare or dream today? Ghostly dream. Fox suddenly realized that he had turned into a ghost and that he could move through walls and objects. He was able to explore new places and interact with the living in unique ways, but he also felt a sense of loss and longing for his previous life. Okay. Now, clean all this stuff up. Now, let's go make some money. Oh no, it's scary. Go home. Go home, Fox, before you get hit by lightning. That's better. Now, come over here. Oh, right, Alice? Well, I'm going to be up here. Um, I need you to turn around there, buddy. There. Now, practice. How about some money, please? Thanks. Thank you, thank you. I heard you and Zoe started dating. Congratulations on landing a new girlfriend. Thanks, Hyacinth. Thanks, guys. Stop talking about me and give me some money. 
Give me some money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, 464, se $467 for Fox Run. And New Year's Eve starts tomorrow. Okay, you're leaving. Thank you. Um, Insight Cheers. Well, that's three. Opal. Hello. Take a selfie. No, Apollo. I'm mad at you. You didn't come over to Winterfest. Sign an autograph. Stop turning them down. He turned me down. I want an autograph. He's so cute. Quick question. No, you need to stay away far away, far, far away from Belagoth. Okay, that's done. New quirk, no touching. Just because Fox is famous, everyone seems to think that Fox is alright with having his personal space invaded. He'll now become tense when Sims aren't who aren't family members or those that he isn't in a committed relationship with make physical contact with him. On the flip side, having his boundaries respected as rare as that may be is sure to make him feel confident confident to take on the day. Go away, Bess. Where are you, Fox? All right, well, I need you to do incite some more cheers. How do you have love with her? What, what the heck happened? I'm so confused. I hate to do this, but I need some more positive responses. He's like, look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm being annoying. Now, give me your money. Turkey spirit is fading away. Yes, Zoe. Hey, Fox, it's me. Do you want to go out on a date? Sure. All right. So I'm going to go use the bathroom. And... Gonna need to give you some physical... How about a suave kiss? Gotta make you have a really good date. Hold hands. Kiss. Caress cheek. Can you not go closer? Thank you. Can I help you? Really? <laughs> this date just keeps getting better. You look like you're having a good time, Fox. So do you. Offer a rose. Another one. Kiss hands. She's so angry. She's like, I wanted to be in love with you, Fox. I wanted you to love me. Whisper seductively. Kiss hands. It's so nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours. Now, can I... Hug lovingly. Can I ask you to move in? Passionate kiss. We're going to give the paparazzi something to talk about. Mwah. Woo hoo in a bush. I mean, we can try for a baby in a bush. No. Sure. I'll donate to you. Zoe, you're going to need to have a makeover. Babes. Oh, 
Thanks for a great date. Talk to you soon. All right. So. Do you want to move in yet? Can you move in? Do you want to move in? I don't know where it is. Affection? No. No, it wouldn't be that one. Compliments? No. Ooh, ask to move in. Do you want to move into my humble apartment? Yes. I'm just going to take all the money. <laughs> You're supposed to bring 20000 so. Sorry, guys. Okay, well. We're going to try this again. Zoe, I really love you, and I'd love for you to be my wife. Don't embarrass me again, please. Yes! Yes, I will marry you. Mwah. <laughs> Fox just got engaged to Zoe. Let's go home. Everybody's so excited. Maybe you should incite some cheers. Hold on. Nobody's listening. No one's paying attention. Beastly presence. Hello. Hi. Incite some cheers. Give me some good feedback. Thanks. Thanks, Vanessa. I need to order some food. For here. We'll do a cannoli. How many did we get? 11 from those. Or 11 total, I mean. He's like, Ugh, I hate being tied down because I'm single and loving it. Not anymore. You need to get married. Hi, I'm going to sit down here on this table with you. At this table with you. Will I eat my cannoli? Are you, are you gonna eat it? You eat your food. Okay. Now, go ahead and incite cheers again. 12. 13. He's excited. Fred. Okay, go home. Now, come over here and try for a baby. Um, come over here and try for a baby. Oh, wait, you can't. You need to be able to access here. Now. Now try for a baby with Fox. Are we going to try for a baby, or are we just going to talk about dinosaurs? T-Rexes. Bats. No. Are we? Are we going to try? Okay, we are going to try. <laughs> Why are you going? What are you? Ay, ay, ay. Break out the candles, make it romantic. Fox and Zoe are woohooing for the first time. Cool. Okay, come over here and take a pregnancy test. And Zoe is pregnant. Fox. I'm pregnant! Yay! Alright, I'm going back to sleep. I'm tired. New Year's Eve. Okay, Fox. Come over here and sing in the shower, and then you're going to come over here and cook a grand breakfast. Oh no! Dreaming about kids, Fox had a vivid dream where he found himself with six kids all at once. Oh my gosh, that'd be horrible. The thought of having so many little ones to care for was overwhelming, and he couldn't help but feel a sense of panic and uncertainty. The dream seemed to bring light to the financial, emotional, and physical strain of raising so many children and Fox couldn't shake the feeling of being unprepared and unsure of his ability to handle such a big responsibility. Hopefully that's not 
what's going to happen. <laughs> I could turn on multiple births because I do have MCC. We can make it like f up to six kids, I think. But I th think we need to have a computer. Um, why don't you come over here and go to the bathroom, take a shower when he's finished. Because then he's going to make some breakfast for you. Zoe. Fox likes cooking. Sure. Don't burn down the kitchen. Now, I think we're just going to elope immediately because of all the pops paparazzi. I don't think I want to deal with that today. He's scared. Oh. Don't be scared, Fox. Go take a panic poop. Go eat some food. And then go eat. Why don't we get you a job, Zoe? I know, you can be a social... No. I know what you're going to do. I want you to be in the <laughs> social media... S social media? Or style influencer. Maybe you're going to be a style influencer. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Interview Sims. Maybe you're going to be social media. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go back to social media. I don't want to do this one. Social media is better. Yes. Social media. Okay. Yes. Create a social media profile. Ooh, 951. Sweet. Let's go ahead and fix up this place, I guess. Okay. Here is the apartment now. This is the kitchen. I have a little area for Zoe. This is the living or the dining room. The bathroom, the living room, I did not put a TV on there because I didn't want them to watch TV. If they want to, they can watch it in the bedroom. And this is the bedroom. I was running out of money, so that's what you get. I don't know where we're going to put the kid because you guys don't make enough money. And before I go, I want to change you, Zoe. Okay. Here is what Zoe looks like now. Alright. I didn't give her a full makeover. Just kind of just did her everyday outfit. So I'll have to go back and do that, but I'm dream catcher. Talk to a therapist about a recent nightmare. That's cool. Uh, social media, create a social media profile. Go get this last little bit out of the way. All right, Foxy Poo. Let's get these insight shears out of the way. <laughs> Yeah. I don't like it either, but I have to do it. Okay. Um, just play. Give me some money. I have a baby on the way. Ooh, a global superstar. Yes. Lux has officially made it. He is a global superstar. In recognition of his accomplishments, Fox has earned a celebrity tile. He should travel to the starlight boulevard so that he can conduct his tile placement ceremony to cheer to cheers to cheers from his fans by reaching the pinnacle of fame he's acquired an additional three fame points along with access to the top tier of Fox of fame perks however if he can't even begin to relate however if he can't even begin to relate to normal sims lives these days 
he has now the potential to earn two more behavioral quirks. Yay. All right, let's see what kind of perks you have. Summon your entourage. Whether they're close friends or just close by, every celebrity needs an entourage. As a global superstar, Fox can now pick... Fox can pick and choose his inner circle and beckon them at his, his, at his whim. Once summoned, squad mates will show up rocking Fox's outfit, ready to cheer him on. They're also emotionally available. Should Fox need a joke, some comfort, or just lavish praise? Career Hopper. Fox will enjoy certain benefits in the workplace thanks to his fame when joining a new career. He'll be hired at a higher starting position. He'll also enjoy increased job performance and faster promotions as Fox, as bosses will want to keep their famous employee happy. Finally, should he decide to quit a career, he can always rejoin, rehire with the exact same ti job title as he left with. That's cool, but you're not going for jobs. So we'll do the entourage. Gain reputation even faster. Donate objects to fans. I don't want to donate to fans. All right, so maybe we will do this one. And this one. I need some money, money, money. Okay, you're just not making any money doing this. So you're just going to have to make some more songs. But... Oh, you're going to put it right there, huh? You're supposed to put it over there, Fox. So pick it up. Come over here. Over here. Place. Really, Fox? Aspiration complete. It can be difficult to do life in the spotlight's harsh glare, the constant scrutiny and attention, adored or hated by all. Fortunately, Fox has mastered this lifestyle, becoming a world-famous celebrity. Earn trait Unstoppable Fame. Sims with Unstoppable Fame are immortalized celebrities incapable of experiencing fame decay over time. They're so comfortable in the limelight that they'll never react poorly towards those pesky paparazzi. They also received an extra fame point. Cool, so we have one more. Why don't we do Corporate Park? Upload videos for increased fame and money. Upload from the video station and money and music station will earn Fox more fame than normal. In addition, Fox's influence will become a commodity that corporate that corporate brands covet as a means of reaching their target audience. Fox will occasionally receive phone calls from a corporate aid aid, aid corporate ad agency with a trim with a timed request to upload a video for an immediate bonus payment. Uh, okay. I guess. All right, Fox. I think you are finished. You completed your aspiration. Your house is okay. I'm not really that happy with it. And you're, you're not married yet. You need to get married. So let's go get married. And you have a baby on the way. Between the next septuplet that comes in, I will do Zoe's makeover. So let's go ahead and elope with the Zoe in the comfort of our bedroom. Aww. She's like, oh, I feel like poop. Mm, yay, they're married. Who are you waving to? There's no one there. Okay, well, he's gonna go to sleep. So we are going to leave this episode here, and this is Fox's Life. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content I have on my channel. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. If you have any thoughts or ideas that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. I hope you're all having a great day or night, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Also, we need to figure out who will be the next one. So I have a poll up on my channel. Go ahead and take a look and let me know which one you want to do next. All right. Take care and toodles.